Let's go. Come on. Let me help you tie your shoes. We're in a parking lot. There goes. Everybody's waiting. No, I'm not tying my shoes. You got to tie them. You're going to trip and fall. Come on. I got five other kids here. We're in a parking lot. We need to go. Let me help. No, I'm not. You have to tie your shoes. Come on. We're in a parking lot and everybody's waiting. Let's go. Honey. Okay. This doesn't really matter. Come on, mama. You're a good mama. She's a good kid. We're going to figure it out. What can I do? What can I do? Let's tuck your laces into your shoes. No, I don't want to. Now, this is when many of us start to get really frustrated. We've regulated, we've given options. We've got other kids waiting to go in somewhere. They're in the parking lot. You've got this one kid melting down, won't put her shoes on. Maybe she's not yelling or screaming, but she won't do the thing. She won't let you help her and she won't tuck her laces into her shoe. What gives? Let's think about this for a second from the kid's perspective. So there's other kids waiting. Her shoes are untied. Now I'm getting into it with her about her shoes. And what does that mean for her? Wait a second. She doesn't know how to tie her shoes. Wait a second. Everybody's watching. Wait a second. Her sibling knows how to tie her shoes. Wait a second. She's embarrassed and ashamed that she can't do it. And here I am layering pressure on top of it and making it worse. Here's another thing to try saying in the moment. And then we'll talk about what to do like over the next couple of days to support this kiddo. Okay, you're going to leave your shoes untied. For me, that would make me trip and fall. Maybe not for you. You're okay walking in like that? They're okay? Okay, move on. Now, if your child trips and falls, it's okay. Don't say, I told you so. Just say, wow, you tripped and fell. It's okay, we'll figure it out. I can help you tuck these in, or I could teach you how to tie them. If they say no, okay. It's a natural consequence. You don't have to make a big deal out of it or layer anything on top. Next morning, time to go to camp. It's time to go. Are you going to wear cheetah print shoes or are you going to wear Velcros? Either is fine. If they choose these ones, I could help you tie them or you could tuck them in. The next morning might still be too soon to do the teaching. If your child starts to melt down when you start to do the teaching, let it go. Maybe the next day, hey, you could do the first tie. I'll do the second one. Maybe you make your child into an expert helper. Hey, can you do the first tie on sister's shoe? What's critically important here is that you keep it light, especially if your child is feeling embarrassed or worried or like they should know how to tie their shoes. So don't layer that yourself onto it. Don't say something like, oh, you should be able to tie your shoes. They don't know how to do it. Help them. 